in September 2023, when Ireland experienced its largest cocaine bust aboard the cargo ship MV Matthew. It sparked a comprehensive law enforcement investigation. Following the interception, which uncovered 2.25 tons of cocaine, Gardee arrested nine individuals and questioned all 25 crew members. The investigation soon linked the cocaine ship to the Kinahan cartel and the Scottish Mafia. However, the connection between these European kingpins runs deeper than just this incident. Some might even dub the Kinahan cartel the Irish-Scottish Mafia. And that's not without reason. In this video, we'll delve into the details of this dark alliance. For the past 20 years, Christy Kinahan, along with his sons Daniel and Christopher Jr., and a substantial group of armed individuals, have significantly expanded their criminal enterprises well beyond their hometown of Dublin. Presently, their influence extends to a huge portion of Europe's cocaine imports, alongside operations involving arms smuggling, cybercrime, extortion, and money laundering. Their client base includes Mexican cartels, Asian jihadists, and more recently, Iran's intelligence services, dealing in military technology and aircraft. They've solidified their reputation as the leading brokers in the underworld, connecting suppliers in South America with buyers in Europe. Their approach mirrors the methods used in the intercepted cocaine shipment off the Cork coast. The Kinahans facilitated the wholesale drug shipment Colombian drug cartel, El Clan del Golfo, while suspicions point to the Scottish mob managing the European end of the operation. The Kinahan cartel has strong links to organized crime in Scotland, with intriguing connections surfacing deeper upon investigation. For instance, Daniel Kinahan's close friend Sandra Vaughan, formerly the CEO of MTK Global, a boxing firm connected to Daniel, has a past with a Scottish drug dealer named Kevin Kelly. Kelly had partnered in a Marbella construction business with the Kinahans, but their dealings took a sinister twist with a foiled kidnapping plot in Spain. Meanwhile, the US Department of Treasury accuses the Kinahan gang of using a Glasgow-based vodka brand named Nero Drinks as a facade for laundering their drug profits. Led by Johnny Morrissey, with his wife Nicola as the primary shareholder, this enterprise appeared to be more complex than it seemed. Morrissey, deeply entrenched in organized crime and considered the Kinahan's main money man, was arrested in September 2022. Following his arrest, Spanish authorities dismantled Europe's largest Havala narco bank, known for its extensive money laundering operations. Morrissey is believed to have cleaned over 300 million euros of drug money every year, channeling it into cryptocurrencies. A closer look shows that the Kinahan cartel has deeply ingrained itself in Scottish society to launder money stemming from their illicit transactions. In Glasgow, there exist two rival crime families, the Daniels and the Lions, engaged in over 70 territorial conflicts, fiercely vying for dominance in Scotland's drug market. The Lions family is renowned for engaging in diverse criminal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion, violence, and organized crime. Emerging as one of the most dominant criminal forces in Scotland since the 1990s, the family initially began small, but rapidly expanded its influence across various territories, extending its reach to multiple countries. Presently, their operations span the United Kingdom, Spain, and even the United Arab Emirates. Over the years, they've been entangled in a long-standing and deadly feud with the Daniel family, another Glasgow-based criminal group. This feud, spanning more than two decades, has witnessed numerous shootings, some fatal, and others narrowly escaping death. Firebombings, assaults involving knives and machetes, alongside the everyday operations of drug trafficking. The feud kicked off in the summer of 2001 after the Daniels clan lost a significant stash of cocaine from a Milton residence, which was later traded with the Lions gang. Sensing a threat to their territory, the Lions responded aggressively, sparking a conflict that reshaped the crime landscape in the region. In December 2006, 
A highly dramatic event known as the Apple Row Motors ambush occurred in Lamb Hill, Glasgow. Two individuals linked to the Daniels, Raymond Anderson and James McDonald, targeted a garage owned by a Lion family member. The confrontation was brief, yet violent, resulting in injuries to three men. One of them died, while two others, including future Lions leader Stephen Lyons, barely survived. Anderson and McDonald were eventually convicted and sent to prison. The turmoil continued with the targeted killing of a significant Daniels member, Kevin Carroll, nicknamed Gerbil. Carroll's ties to the Lions stemmed from his school days when he was a victim of their bullying. This past pushed him closer to the Daniels, earning him the infamous moniker, Public Enemy No. 1. His notorious reputation preceded him. In 2010, while seated in a parked car at a supermarket, Carroll fell victim to a targeted attack. Masked gunmen arrived and fired shots into the back seat. Trapped in a three-door Audi with locked doors, he lost his life instantly. The attack only lasted 25 seconds. Later, investigations identified one of the gunmen as William Peterson, a significant figure in the Lyons family who received a life sentence for the crime. The following period marked a pivotal moment for the Lyons gang. Stephen Lyons, surviving the 2006 shooting, sought refuge in Spain, reportedly forming connections with the Kinahan cartel. This alliance breathed new life into the Lions, strengthening their position in the territorial conflict and providing the Kinahans with a lucrative way to sell drugs in Scotland. Later, Lions further solidified his ties with the Kinahans by relocating to Dubai. The Lions gang notably grew more robust, cementing their influence. In 2016, a crucial shift occurred with the passing of Jamie, the leader of the Daniels family, due to cancer. This tilted the balance of power towards the Lions, marked by a surge in violence in 2017, particularly the brutal assault on Stephen Bonzo Daniel. Using a concealed tracker, the Lions gang pursued Stephen Daniels' car in May 2017, resulting in a high-speed chase that ended on an off-ramp. They launched a violent attack on Stephen Daniel using knives and machetes, yet he survived. During subsequent legal proceedings, Stephen Daniel denied any ongoing rivalry between the Daniels and the Lions, both groups preferring to keep their conflict off the legal radar. Despite law enforcement launching Operation Engagement to crack down on these rival clans, the feud persisted, leading to more deaths, arson incidents, and assaults. On the other front, the decryption of EncroChat's secured servers played a vital role in disrupting criminal operations. One significant instance involved Glasgow's drug kingpin Darren Collin, known as Big Papa, who held considerable respect among influential individuals in Costa del Sol, Dubai and Dublin. He had strong connections with both the Lions Gang and the Kinahan Cartel. Big Popper's methods in Scotland garnered admiration even from the top tiers of these criminal organisations. However, the drug dealer got jailed for eight years after police cracked an encrypted phone linking him to £1.3 million worth of heroin and cocaine and a substantial amount of cash. The link between Scotland and the Kinahan cartel was further reinforced through Robert Kelby, associated with the Lions Gang, who played a key role in setting up a gym in the Canary Islands connected to the Kinahans. Kelby, surviving three assassination attempts, often appears alongside Tyson Fury, who of course is also connected to Daniel Kinahan. It's widely acknowledged that the Kinahans and the Lions collaborated closely, boosting their illegal earnings through a series of violent acts in Scotland. However, following the placement of the Irish mob on the US Most Wanted list, the Kinahans have distanced themselves from many affiliates, including the Lions, which could leave the latter vulnerable with a $15 million bounty hanging over the Kinahan cartel and increased pressure, focus has turned to Scotland's underworld. Glasgow already holds the unsettling record for the highest number of drug-related deaths in Europe. The Lions Gang's ongoing feud with the Daniels clan has turned Glasgow into a hub for criminal activity, compounding the issue. If the Kinahan cartel stops the supply of high-quality narcotics to the Lions, Scotland's criminal landscape could spiral further into chaos. That was it for today's video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see our next videos.